To learn more about earning college credits with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click the link in the description. Lily is curious about everything. She's always loved helping out at the local nursing home, painting an art class, and scoping out tide pools at the beach. So when it comes time for Lily to choose a college major, she's stuck. She could see herself working in any of the fields she's passionate about. Healthcare, art, marine biology, or something else. How could she choose just one? Well, she doesn't have to choose with a liberal studies degree. A liberal studies degree allows people like Lily to focus on multiple areas of study, including the humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences. By integrating multiple disciplines, liberal studies equip students with the critical thinking and communication skills they need to succeed in nearly any career Lily, or you, set your sights on. Hi, I'm Cassandra Ryder, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series that explains different college majors. In this episode, we'll talk about the liberal studies degree and all its possibilities. Liberal studies is a field that involves multiple areas of study, or disciplines. That means you'll find yourself taking a wide variety of classes across the humanities and social and natural sciences, and learning how each field communicates and thinks, rather than diving deep into just one area. And it can lead you to a career in many different fields. That's because you can apply the skills you learn in this degree, like critical thinking, communication, and creativity, in tons of different ways. For example, if you learn how to think critically about scientific principles and what makes the world go round, you'll be able to generate original ideas, solve problems creatively, and consider multiple points of view. All of which is much stronger with cultural awareness built from studying art, history, and literature, which can apply to jobs where you work with people from all walks of life from healthcare to public relations. Basically, because liberal studies programs offer a broad field of study, they're flexible about which disciplines and courses you choose to focus on. So the possibilities for what you can learn are seemingly endless. And having a diverse skill set means that when you encounter a problem or opportunity in your career, whether it's in business, the sciences, or the arts, you can put on a different hat, whichever one fits the job. Employers today look for candidates who come with a big collection of different hats, er, experiences, because that means they're likely adaptable, open-minded, and innovative. And in order to gain all those strengths, you need to take a variety of different courses. Now, since a liberal studies major is multidisciplinary, everyone's degree program looks a little bit different. In fact, the type of degree you get looks different depending on your school. Like your school might offer a Bachelor of Science, a Bachelor of Arts, or a Bachelor of Fine Arts depending on the fields you want to spend the most time on. But no matter the degree type, you'll probably start with a set of required courses in two major areas, the humanities and the social sciences. And later, you'll have the chance to focus on subjects that fit your unique interests. Humanities courses can include literature, philosophy, history, art, and music, which give you an understanding of the movements, cultures, and eras that have shaped humanity over time. And in these types of courses, you'll develop your critical thinking, writing, and argumentation skills. At the same time, liberal studies majors also take core classes in the social sciences, like sociology, psychology, and political science. In these courses, you'll explore human behavior and the social systems that shape it. You'll also focus on issues that have affected humans across time, like globalization, social justice movements, and diversity. Once you've completed your required set of courses in multiple disciplines, some liberal studies programs will ask you to declare a specialization, or a set area of study that you get to pick based on your interests. This is where you'll develop more, well, specialized skills for your future career. It's also where you'll take courses from other disciplines like natural sciences or business. Most of the time, liberal studies specializations integrate multiple disciplines into one course of study. For instance, if you're interested in exploring how politics cause inequities in healthcare, you could declare your specialization as health, political systems, and inequity. To complete the specialization, you'd likely take lots of classes in literature, political science, public health, and social work. Other liberal studies programs might let you personalize your course of study by choosing a professional concentration, like accounting, cybersecurity, or marketing. In other words, as a liberal studies major, you'll be well-rounded, but still have quite a bit of flexibility in terms of the classes you take and the focus of your specialization. And ultimately, this will help you develop abilities that are crucial to success in any field, like communication, critical thinking, research, 
and problem solving. Now, you might be wondering, if there are so many possibilities in a liberal studies program, how do I know if I should choose it as my major? While it's true that all types of students can benefit from a liberal studies major, it can be great for students who aren't sure what they want to do. And liberal studies is an especially good fit for people who are super curious about tons of different things. That's because liberal studies degrees give you the opportunity to use knowledge from different disciplines to solve problems in totally new and creative ways. Liberal studies is also a great option if you're interested in social justice and activism. Courses you take in a liberal studies program often grapple with social problems that create unfairness or inequities, and they'll teach you how to identify and address them. But like any major, liberal studies also has some potential roadblocks to be aware of. That same flexibility and freedom that can make it a great fit for some people can also be overwhelming. With so many course options, some liberal studies majors have trouble narrowing down their academic focus and choosing a career path. Balancing the requirements for multiple disciplines can also be tough, especially since they can be very different from class to class. Like taking advanced composition, experimental psychology, and biochemistry all at the same time can be super interesting and tons of hard, very different work. And because a liberal studies degree isn't a pipeline into one career field, like nursing or accounting, learning to explain your skills so you can land your dream job takes practice. Some people can also confuse liberal studies with liberal politics. But all types of students can be liberal studies majors. But it's another misconception you might need to explain. The good news is that with a little hard work, determination, and support, you can overcome these obstacles to succeed in college and beyond. Talking with your academic advisors can help you stay on top of your coursework. Your fellow liberal studies students can offer support too especially since they know what it's like to balance many different types of classes. Keeping a detailed study plan can also keep you on track. Plus, there are typically lots of campus resources available for liberal study students, especially if you need a little extra boost in developing your writing and research abilities. Going to free writing workshops and research seminars is a good start. And getting feedback from your peers and professors can help you polish your papers and projects. Sounds perfect. Wait, am I just saying P words now? Punctual, piglet, prognosticate. Okay, I'll stop. And when it comes to your future career, internships and job shadowing opportunities can show you how your skills fit into different fields and how to communicate the value of your degree to potential employers. And if you find that liberal studies isn't quite the right fit, it's often pretty easy to transition into other majors. Interdisciplinary studies, general studies, humanities, social sciences, and education degrees all provide similar flexibility, options for personalization, and a foundation of knowledge that's useful in a range of careers. And if a course you take as a liberal studies student sparks something for you, you can consider choosing a more specific major. But if you choose to stick with a liberal studies degree, there are tons of possibilities out there for you. For instance, if you're really passionate about a particular discipline or subject, you can go on to get a master's or doctoral degree in that field. Graduate degrees in English, history, and philosophy align pretty closely with a liberal studies degree. Or if you want to focus on a specific professional track, you could enroll in a master's of business administration program and be confident you have a really solid foundation to build on. Participating in volunteer or service organizations after graduation can also boost your resume when you're ready to apply for jobs. Domestic and international programs focused on environmental sustainability, community development, and racial justice need volunteers with strong critical thinking skills and the ability to engage with different cultures empathetically. And of course, you can also go straight into the workforce with a liberal studies degree. Jobs that require creativity, communication, and strong interpersonal skills need liberal studies majors. Some great options include human resources, marketing, public relations, government, education, and nonprofit work. And being familiar with analysis and problem solving is crucial to industries like business, healthcare, and technology. You could even use your diverse skill set to start your own business, which can include consulting, event planning, or nonprofit management. So if it sounds like the possibilities are endless, that's because they kind of are. Liberal studies graduates can be found working in many different types of roles in these fields too. Like, you could use your understanding of art and culture to be a graphic designer for a marketing agency or advertising firm. Or you could also work as an educator, where your strong knowledge of systems and social issues will make you a great advocate for students. And because there are so many different careers for liberal studies graduates, it's probably not a surprise that salaries can vary widely too. 
Now, talking about salaries is hard because they can vary widely depending on lots of factors, like industry or location. But as of 2022, the national average salary for a liberal studies graduate in the U.S. is $39,000 per year. Of course, the real salary of a liberal studies graduate depends on the specific job, industry, location, and level of experience you bring to the role. For instance, if you decide to use your analytical skills and knowledge of technology, culture, and social justice to become a cybersecurity analyst, your starting salary would be around $74,000 on average as of 2023. Or if you decide to work as a public relations specialist for a nonprofit, you might expect to make an average of $57,000 annually, according to 2023 data. The best ways to learn more about the job and salary options is to talk with your fellow liberal studies majors and graduates and start researching jobs once you figure out a specialization that interests you. You can also meet with your school's career development office for more support. But no matter which career you choose, a liberal studies degree can equip you with skills that can easily transfer from one industry to another. You'll develop critical thinking, communication, and research strategies that enable you to analyze information, express ideas, and make good decisions based on quality evidence. Through exposure to issues and ideas in the humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences, you'll gain the cultural awareness you need to engage people and problems with creativity and empathy. In her liberal studies program, Lily is able to explore all her passions with equal amounts of excitement and hard work. And by the end of a liberal studies degree, you, and Lily, will have more than a collection of different hats. You'll have your own unique perspective that'll help you make a positive impact on the world. If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, check out our other videos in this playlist. To find out how to earn college credit with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click on the link here or in the description. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like and comment to let us know how you chose your degree or what you wish you would have known before you started your degree. Thanks for watching.